down after years of brown water running from their faucet. It's happening in Humphrey, about 11 miles outside of Stuttgart. Claire Kreitz spoke to people who live there and the mayor. She joins us live in studio with more. And Claire, a lot of people are upset about this. Yeah, Bob and Laura, take a look at these pictures. This is what comes out of the faucet when people turn on the water. They just want the city to step up to get it fixed. Imagine turning on your water and this is what you see. Water goes from clear to yellow to a dirty brown. It looks like somebody has actually used the bathroom in the water. It's what Sonia Abels and the rest of the Umphrey community have been dealing with for years. And it's only gotten worse. It started to look more like this. Brandy McDermott says it's gotten so bad they have to buy bottled water for cooking and drinking. We spend about $75 a week on bottled water. When it comes to doing laundry. I pulled them out of the washer and they were brown. Well, most people take a drive about 11 miles down the road. Most of the time I take my lighter clothes and my bed linens to the neighboring city. I reached out to the Department of Health who says the well contains a significant amount of iron. That's what's causing the discoloration. They're working with the water operator to remove it, but ultimately it is safe to drink. Would you drink this? Because I'm not drinking this. I sat down with Mayor Cleveland Hatch who doubled down on the fact the water is safe to drink. Do you drink it? I haven't, I haven't uh, 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 drank this water in years. He did say there is a problem that needs to be fixed. It's not isolated to just certain individuals. It affected me also. I feel they pain. But it goes beyond the well and boils down to old pipes. They are probably 80 plus years old. I asked what the city is doing to try and fix it. I'm in the process of trying to uh, get some funding to get some new water lines in here. We have no indication that yes, I have actually filed for this grant. I have actually applied for this. When I asked for any kind of documentation of the applications. I have a person who, uh, who, is, who is doing that work for me. I don't have it. Uh, in my hand right now. Do you have their number? Uh, can I get that and call you back with that number? I gave Mayor Hatch my email and cell phone number for either a name of his grant writer or the applications themselves. So far, I have not gotten either one. Back to you.